become a Royal Navy officer, eventually retiring after a very remarkable 35 years service in 1974. Oh, how wonderful. And Len, thank you so much for sharing your incredible wartime experiences with us all and, of course, with the South Today audience as well. Thank you for that. On to the weather. Mm. A bit brisk, eh? Very cold. How brisk? So cold. Three or four <laughs> degrees, but feeling more like freezing. And we had some snow this morning lying on the ground at Goring by Sea. This picture was taken by one of our weather watchers. But the blue skies, the glorious scene was photographed by Victoria Timms in Buckinghamshire. So today, blue skies overhead for many places. We'll continue to see fairly sunny conditions over the next few days with increasing cloud as we start to head towards Friday. So through the day tomorrow, it's a mainly dry day with sunny spells. Chilly though, although on the thermometer, temperatures will be a degree also up on today so a little less cold if you like but still pretty chilly for the time of year overnight tonight we're looking at clear skies that continuing nagging northeasterly breeze during the overnight period patchy cloud is a possibility temperatures will drop to freezing or just below in some places so it's a chilly start to the day tomorrow maybe with some mist and fog patches first thing also patchy frost in some areas in shelter spots away from that breeze the breeze will continue tomorrow but as i said on the thermometer temperatures will be a degree or so higher than today, reaching around five or six Celsius during the afternoon. Still that keen east to northeasterly breeze taking the edge of temperatures. So for the coastal forecast tomorrow through the day, through daylight hours from Selseybill to Lyme Regis, the winds are northeast four or five, occasionally six at first. The weather's fair, the visibility is good and the sea state is slight or moderate. Tomorrow night is fairly quiet. We'll see areas of cloud coming and going during the early hours of Thursday morning. A widespread frost is expected with the winds falling slightly lighter, lows of minus one to minus two Celsius. So a pretty cold start to the day on Thursday. Thursday in general, we'll start to see more cloud during the afternoon, drifting southwards across the region. The best of the sunshine, the further south and west you are. And the breeze is actually originating from the Atlantic. So it's less cold air coming in, not as cold as recent days, but temperatures around the seasonal average. But next week we see an arc Arctic air mass move in, low pressure, the risk of sleet and snow, which potentially, I say potentially because it is next week, a, a number of days away, we could see some disruptive snow in places. So we're keeping a close eye on that for the early part of next week. But before then, we've got lots of sunshine on offer, areas of cloud, thicker cloud during Friday, which will stay with us during the course of the day, average temperatures and turning cooler as we head through the weekend. Sally. Arctic air mass, that just means thick jumpers, doesn't it? It does, Thick yes. coats and thick jumpers. Coats. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, Jo Ken's going to be here and she's going to be juggling. Juggling, no. Ooh. Can you juggle? Oh, family, watching sport, work. Yeah, that's juggling <laughs> life. We all do that. <laughs> can I love jump? it, I love it. You can do everything. Well, no, I can't. No You've got no level in it, haven't you, or something? <laughs> Hardly. That's it from us. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Good night. <laughs> Good night.